Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Joel at uh, from Cornerstone Alliance Church, and I am uh, today. I'm sitting in my car in the church parking lot, and um, it's beautiful weather, as you can see. So, um, anyways, thanks for joining us for our uh, devotional today. And uh, today I have a title for my devotional, and it's called uh, "You Can Do This" or "You Can Do It." Um, just as people are getting uh, online here, I just want to um, say this week I'm I'm taking a course uh, from uh, hi Karen, hi Sam. Uh, I'm taking a course from Ambrose, and so they're an hour uh, behind us. So my days kind of start at ten, and then they go to a little bit later, an hour later. And the course is Monday to Friday. It's on uh, the history of healing and deliverance, and uh, so it's been very interesting so far. The first two days. And um, so anyways, that's why um, I, I this morning I didn't have to get to, like my days are starting an hour later basically. So I, um, I found a Starbucks in the city that has a drive through uh, It's in Transcona in Park City Commons. And so last, uh, I've been going there a little bit recently and this morning I took a little drive out to um, Park City Commons. It's just off of Regent there. And I went through the drive through the other day I was there and uh, the person giving me the coffee, she says, Are you, you're Joel Black, right? I said, yeah, I didn't recognize the person because they had um, the mask, you know, on. But uh, she used to be a quizzer from Kilcona Park Alliance Church. And uh, and now she's graduated. I think she's still helping with the, the Kilcona Park Alliance Church Bible quizzing program. And now she works at that Starbucks. So that was kind of neat. Hello, Brad. Brad, thank you for all your trucking. Like, um... People were thanking the health workers a lot, and we're supposed to. And they do such a great job, but there's pretty much nothing that you that you have right now that did not come from a trucker. And so, thank you, Brad, for trucking. I know you spend many hours away from your family. And, um, anyways, thanks for doing that. Hey, so today um, this is called uh, "You Can Do It, You Can Do This," and um, it's Philippians 4:13. The verse says, "I can do all this through Him who strengthens me." And we talked about this several years ago at our church in a series um, of uh, sermon series where a lot of Bible verses are commonly taken out of context and meant to mean something that they weren't supposed to. So, for example, this Philippians 4.13 is a very popular verse, usually one of the most popular verses on Bible Gateway and, and Version Bible app and stuff. And many people think that it means you can do everything, you know, but we can't fly over, we can't jump over tall buildings. Uh, it's not meant to be taken to mean we can do anything and everything. Only God can do anything and everything. And so I just wanted to remind you of the context and look at that a little bit. So it says, I can do all things. I can do all this. Um, I, I like the NIV version um, in this case. Like I've always said to you guys, keep looking at, as you read your Bible, read lots of different versions because it really helps us. Um, so in Philippians 4.13, in the NIV it says, I can do all this right through him who gives me strength and so it's referring to something specifically and um, I know that coronavirus there's we have um, we get depressed more easily we're inside more we're not getting enough uh, you know vitamins from the Sun and uh, it's a different routine it's tough um, for many of us however Paul says that he has learned the secret to be content in any and every situation that's what he's referring to and he says I can do all this through him who gives me strength. He says, I've learned, um, you know, whether I'm, I'm in need or um, if I have plenty, there's a secret to being content, he says. Um, and Paul has been in prison. You know, he's been in near-death experiences. He's been starving. And so Paul's learned the secret to be content. So you can also be content. Are you content right now? Um, you can do it. And if you if you don't believe that, then um, then you know this God's word is is rubbish, because He's telling us we can learn the secret. We can learn how to be content in any and every situation. So I think it's good to look back a little bit the, the verses before. So here I don't know if this helps to look at the Bible. No, nah, it's not going to. I'll just read it to you. Um, a little bit earlier, chapter four, verse six, he says, "Don't be anxious." about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition present your request to God um, with thanksgiving present your request to God so uh, this is part of the same context of being content in every situation so are you doing that 
are you presenting all your requests to God in prayer? And and Thanksgiving, like how do we give thanks? Is there are there ways we can give thanks in this situation? Um, what are some things we can give thanks for? I guess you know we hear that air pollution is down because fewer people are are um, using fossil fuels. Air is cleaner in some situations. Uh, I know sports isn't professional sports isn't happening and that affects a lot of sports fans. But um, I, I've mentioned this before once. But also some of the major sporting events like March Madness and Super Bowl, they're also uh, one of the busiest times for human traffickers, and they they like to bring um, trafficked girls because uh, there's all these sports fans that are watching. And so if you just Google it, you'll see how many arrests are made every year at March Madness or Super Bowl or whatever. And so so that's something to be thankful for. Maybe there'll be fewer victims this year. Um, so are there other things that you can be thankful for uh, at this time? Anyways, give thanks. Think of some ways to give thanks. Also, if we keep reading, it says, um, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything's excellent or praiseworthy, think about those things. What are you thinking about these days? Where does your mind go? Are you going to those things that are excellent and praiseworthy and admirable? And so it's in this context that Paul says, in every situation, no matter what, I can be content. And he says he can only do this because of him who gives me strength. So, so you can do this. You can be content. Even during lockdown or social isolation or social distancing or if you're quarantining, whatever situation. I'm not saying it's easy and I'm not saying that I can do it all the time either. But according to God's word, we can do this. And so um, present your request to God. How, how often are you praying and asking him? Find things to give thanks for. Think about excellent, praiseworthy things. And, and I'm just letting you know, you, you can do that. We can be content in any and every situation. And so this is from Philippians 4.13 uh, in its proper um, context. Hey, something else I just noticed that I like to give you tools sometimes. And so I don't often use the Version Bible app. I like using Bible Gateway. But on my phone this morning, I opened the Version Bible app. And, and this is completely a church, a large church in the States has given this completely free. They're also the same church that provides us our online platform for completely free. Um, it's great. I love seeing churches do that. Um, so the Version Bible, they have these stories now. I didn't realize that kind of like Facebook or Instagram. And so you click on the story and then it leads you kind of through a little meditation devotional. And there, there's a, a time to pause and then there's a Bible verse and then they had a, a Christian rapper giving a, a little uh, comment on the verse. And then and then there's like a question that you can answer, multiple choice. So it's like maybe several minutes. And I thought that was a very cool addition to the Version Bible app. So you could try that out too. And uh, it will guide you through kind of a, a scripture meditation. Anyways, my class on healing and deliverance is starting soon, and so i got to get into there, get the Zoom all started. Thanks for joining us today, and, um, and remember, you can do this. We can be content in any and every situation. If that is not true, then God's Word is not true, and then what we're doing is, is all completely useless. But it is true, and so um, hold on to that. We'll learn the secret to be content in every in every situation, just like Paul has done in Philippians chapter 4. Okay, God bless you. We'll see you guys soon, I hope.